Hi everyone, and welcome to a new tutorial where we're going to draw a hole in the paper. And you can do this, of course, in graphite, in gray, but also in colors. I'm going to do this one in colors, and I'm using the pre-printed. Uh, well, there are all kinds of little uh, squares on there already, so that can help us with our drawing. Once you're done. You can take some amazing pictures of your drawing and get that special 3D effect once you place your drawing in the correct corner, as I'm demonstrating here. Okay, let's get started. On the left side, you can see the pattern that I've already drawn in. And I will be drawing it in in real time, so you can draw along. Just count the squares, like I'm doing here. Like here, one below, one aside, one up. And in that way, we start to create the hole that is in the paper. On the left side, you can see the numbers of the lines, which are only one or two squares, high or stretching. Once you've drawn that in, it is time for the diagonal lines. These should be the sides of uh, the cubes that we are drawing in. Once you've done that, it is time to color in the sides. I start with all the sides on the left, if you like. When the light was coming from the left, then all the right sides should be the darkest. So I'm coloring these in with dark blau, blue, and the other sides, which get a little bit of light, I color in with light blue. Then I take a fine liner and I start placing a line very carefully next to our blue squares and also here, just next to them. And when you've done that, you can color in the deepness of that pit below. Make sure it's all covered in black. I also want a few cubes to be standing on top of the paper. Here I make a small one. Here, I make another small cube. Oh, this line can be erased. So I'm simply drawing in from corner to corner. And way up on top, I'm drawing in a bigger cube. Two squares broad and then the vertical lines and then close it up. I thought it was nice to give the cubes that are standing 
on top of the paper a little bit of color. The bottom one I draw in with red, orange and yellow. The top one with dark red, light red and on top also yellow. And the little one on the right I'm drawing in with dark green, light green and yellow again. Then it's time for the shadows. Just behind each cube I'm drawing in a shadow with a graphite pencil. By putting in those little shadows the cubes will appear to be popping up from the paper once we make a drawing. To get that shady effect I'm using a blender stick and of course you can also use your finger for this and I ease in the graphite onto the paper. I want the sides to be a little bit darker so I place over the dark sides a little bit of orange. That gives it a nice shadow effect. Here I'm putting in a little bit extra purple to get more contrast. Those are for the cubes that are standing on top of the paper. Okay, now it's time to take a picture. You can also cut out a little bit of your paper or you can just leave it like this and make some amazing pictures of them. Here's the one that I've cut out for that special 3D effect. I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a big like, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. See you again in my next tutorial.